It's official, Apple has officially announced the date for their iPhone event, and that means we have the final leaks for the iPhone 16 and the iPhone 16 Pro, like how much they're gonna cost, their exact release date, and everything else you need to know before you watch the event on Tuesday. So let's get into it and talk about why this year is going to be a huge year for iPhone upgraders and why you may wanna skip out on purchasing an iPhone 15 or older, even if you may see some good deals on Tuesday. And yes, you gotta get ready for those iPhone pre-orders and those new iPhones, I'm just warning you, right now, they're gonna be expensive, but I found a way to help offset that monthly iPhone payment by partnering with Mint Mobile, who offers 5G cellular plans for just $15 a month. Yeah, if you're on another cellular network, you're probably thinking I just misspoke right now, but no, I am telling you, Yes, your cell phone bill can be lower than your monthly iPhone payment, and it's all on the largest 5G network with unlimited talk and text. And it's using the same fast, reliable network as other providers. And in my experience, that has turned out to be totally true. I've used a lot of cellular networks over the year, and Mint Mobile is not only just as reliable, but oftentimes faster than other cellular carriers. And while so many wireless carriers continue to jack up the price, Mint Mobile has been offering $15 plans for as long as I can remember. In fact, I just came up on my four year anniversary of having my Mint Mobile line and I had not had the price raised once. Yeah, I'm speaking from my own experience here. Mint Mobile is clearly the best value in the wireless game and it saved me a lot of money over the years and it has plans that will fit anyone, including low cost unlimited plans. And if you use my link below, you can save even more money by getting three months of Mint Mobile to try for yourself. So thanks to Mint Mobile for partnering with me to help everyone save a little bit of money this iPhone season. All right, let's start with the iPhone 16. We know so much about this phone already that really there wasn't much left to leak. It's still going to come in a 6.1 and 6.7 inch size and look pretty similar to the last model, except for one big visual shakeup being that the camera orientation is moving from a diagonal arrangement to a vertical one, which does give the normal iPhone some nice visual distinction and it will let the iPhone 16 shoot spatial video for the Vision Pro. Anyone else still using their Vision Pros? Just me? Okay. Of course, there's other visual upgrades this year to the phone that will make it look different. One of those would be the color choices. Here are the official leaked images of the dummy model colors for this year. And you can see they come in much bolder, saturated colors like green, blue, and pink. Now, while these colors look a bit weird to me on the iPhone dummy units, don't forget that Apple is using a special color infused glass, just like they did with the iPhone 15 design. So when Apple releases these colors, they will probably pop more and look better than what we are seeing from these current dummy unit leaks. Apple will also be getting rid of the mute switch and replacing it with the action button, just like they did on the 15 Pro last year. And the 16 is also getting a new capture button. This is a button on the side of the iPhone that will be capacitive, meaning it won't physically move, but it will have haptic motors that make it feel like a button press. It will be used for launching the camera app and you'll be able to quickly take photos and videos with this button. And it may even feature control gestures like sliding your finger along the touch sensitive button to activate zoom controls in the camera app. In terms of the display, the iPhone 16 is still shipping with a 60 Hertz OLED display, and there really won't be any display upgrades this year like there will be on the iPhone 16 Pro. The big upgrade for the normal 16 this year is focused all around the A18 chip, which will feature eight gigabytes of memory as well as faster CPU and GPU performance and a stronger neural engine, which will allow it to take advantage of all the new Apple intelligence features coming to the new iPhones. AI features like a smarter Siri, editing photos, AI writing tools, smarter notifications, generative images, Genmoji, and so on, will mostly run on device on these new iPhones and they will require a powerful chip to run, which is why out of all the AI features I just mentioned, they will not be running on older iPhones. Even the iPhone 15 from last year will not get access to these new Apple intelligence features. And yes, Apple is planning for these AI features to be a pretty major selling point for the iPhone. And it's even rumored that in their keynote, they will spend a lot of time going over how these AI features will change the way that you use your iPhone. Now, while the iPhone 16 will be a pretty underwhelming upgrade, 
it will be the cheapest model that will run Apple Intelligence. And it will start at $799 for the normal model and $899 for the plus size model, both coming with 128 gigabytes of storage. The iPhone 16 Pro, on the other hand, is stated for some much bigger improvements this year. In fact, it's an entirely new design because Apple is getting rid of the 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch Pro size phones and moving up to 6.3 and 6.9 inches, making these the biggest iPhone models ever. That means yes, even though Apple is shrinking the bezels as much as they can for these models to help offset that size increase, these phones will be physically larger. So if the 15 Pro Max already felt too big, well, you may have a difficult choice ahead of you in a week. Besides getting larger displays, the 16 Pro also gets brighter displays with rumors saying it will receive a 1200 nit display at full screen brightness, which is a 20% improvement over the iPhone 15 Pro. And because of the physical dimension increase for both the iPhone 16 Pro, on both models, it is rumored we will see a bigger battery. In fact, the exact battery specs may have leaked with the 16 Pro getting 3,577 milliamp hours and the 16 Pro Max getting 4,676 milliamp hours. Although bigger, the visual design of the 16 Pro won't actually change all that much, with a few exceptions. First of all, the titanium frame is rumored to now be polished and shiny rather than the more matte finish of the 15 Pro. And secondly, there's also a new desert titanium color that leaked. Some of the leaks make this phone look like rose gold, while other leaks make the color look more like a deeper bronze coloring, if I'm being kind, and if I'm being unkind, it looks like the color brown. So shout out to the Zune, because the Zune is back, baby. Of course, like the regular 16, the 16 Pro will also get the capture button placed on the side of the phone, and the functionality will be exactly the same there. Now, the iPhone 16 Pro will also be getting a big camera upgrade this year in multiple ways. First of all, the 6.3 inch size Pro will be getting the 5X lens, which was exclusive to the Pro Max last year. Additionally, both Pro phones will also be getting a massive upgrade to the ultra wide angle camera with Apple bumping up the resolution from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels, which is going to be a massive improvement to that ultra wide angle camera. I cannot wait to see what photos and videos look like on the 16 Pro. Besides the telephoto and the ultra wide improvements, the main camera sensor itself is rumored to be getting an upgrade as well. And that will primarily help it capture even more light leading to the 16 Pro to take even better low light photos and videos, which is always welcome on the small camera phones. Finally, just like the regular iPhone 16, the big upgrade on the 16 Pro, again, it's all about the chip. However, the 16 Pro will even be outdoing the regular 16 by not getting an A18 chip, but rather an A18 Pro chip that could result in even faster CPU performance, faster GPU performance, and maybe even better neural engine performance over the regular 18, which could make it the ultimate iPhone for AI-related tasks. Now, I don't need to rehash all the features coming with Apple Intelligence or potentially new features shown off at this event, but again, Apple Intelligence is going to be a major focus for Apple with these new iPhones. In fact, while usually I recommend checking out deals on cheaper iPhones when Apple announces these new models, because you can find an older model with a price drop of around like $100, like you could score an iPhone 15 for $699 or an iPhone 14 for $599, this year, I don't think you should buy those models because you are locking yourself into a smartphone that will not get any advanced AI features. And, and not just this year, but with future iOS updates as well. A lot of the features that are gonna be in iOS 19 or iOS 20 are probably gonna be based around Apple intelligence and based around AI. So if you buy an older phone model while you have phones that are capable of, you know, running these Apple intelligence tasks, I feel like you're kind of kicking yourself here, right? You're gonna, you're gonna be kicking yourself in a few years when your phone isn't getting a lot of these major new features. As for the iPhone 16 Pro, well, be prepared for some sticker shock this year. That's because it's rumored that Apple will be dropping the 128 gigabyte configuration of the 16 Pro. And with Apple knowing that these Pro models are going to be popular because they're 
size increase and these AI features, I think Apple is going to bump the price up on the 6.3 inch 16 Pro to $1,099 for a 256 gigabyte configuration. I don't think there's going to be a 128 gigabyte option this year. So that's kind of like a $100 price increase, even though you are getting more storage and that's gonna basically follow suit what they did last year on the 15 Pro Max. And yeah, so the 16 Pro Max will stay the same, right? $1,199 for 256 gigabytes. And yeah, I know we haven't even gotten to the event yet, but hey, I already have the leaked pre-order dates as well. That's going to be on September 13th, that's a Friday. Friday, September 13th. Ooh, good luck to anyone pre-ordering that phone. And then uh, when they ship out, that's going to be on September 20th, the following Friday. So make sure you remember those dates as we get into the event so you can pre-order the exact iPhone model and configuration you want. But yeah, that is everything we know about the new iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro going into this Apple event. And I can't help be excited I can't help but be excited for these new models. But let me know in the comments below. Are you excited for the new iPhone 16? and the iPhone 16 Pro. What model do you plan on getting and what features are you most excited for? And as always, I hope you found the video informative. If you did, please leave me a like, subscribe for more because I'll have a lot more content around these phones once they are officially announced. So I'll see you all real soon, hopefully, unless you hated this video and you unsubscribed and you disliked and I don't know. You guys, sometimes you could be a little mean. Most of you were nice, most of you were nice, but some, some people, they could be a little mean. They could be a little mean to, to Greg over here. I'm a nice guy. You shouldn't be mean to me, I'm a nice guy. So remember that, because I'll see you soon, I think.